This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson arrays and color LEDs. Color LEDs. This program uses Color LEDs Array, which lets you control the color LEDs in the circuit of, in your circuit playground. Awesome. What do you think the code will do? Write your prediction in the box below, then run the code and see what happens. So as a teacher, I know when you hit run, you're not going to be able to change this and your answer is submitted to your teacher. So make sure you think about this carefully. I'm going to write my answer and my thoughts, but do not plagiarize. This should help you think about it, come up with a better answer, but make sure it is entirely your own plagiarism is serious. Let's see. Color LED is zero. So I know with indexes, the zero index of the color LED is going to become on. And at the zero index, indexes, at the zero index is the first color LED, because in arrays we start counting at zero. So at the one, the second LED then will blink. The third LED, which is two, because zero, one, two, will be red. The fourth LED will be blinking. And then if you go all the way to here, the ninth LED is actually the tenth, right? Because we started at zero. So the tenth LED on the board will be purple. So I'm just going to kind of write that out. Arrays, comma, lists, as we often call them. Oh, I, I, they tricked me up here. The third will be red and blinking, right? Because it has the array, it has two in there twice. The third will be red and blinking. And okay, so what I put arrays list, arrays, comma, list start at zero for item indexes. So the first LED will be on, the second will be blinking, the third will be red and blinking, and the tenth will be purple. And I wonder if it will actually, I think it will go on if we make it purple, but we don't ask it to. So, hmm, let's uh, give it a try. Ah, it will go on when we just ask for the color. Perfect. We did it. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going. 